when I practiced law, I became a partner in my law firm. I was not uh, the first woman, but I was told that I was the first woman on maternity leave uh, to become a partner, and I will always remember that because I will never forget the managing partner calling me at home. I have the baby in my arms. You know, I'm answering the phone, um, and he's calling to tell me that I've become a partner. I was the only woman in my class, and he pauses and he says, and, you know, Catherine, we're so excited to welcome you to the partnership. I want you to know that all the men in your class have build 3,000 hours, and, you know, you've only built, you know, 1,400. And I said, well, John, I produced a human life. <laughs> Priorities here. When I joined the Women's Forum, I was the CEO of the United States Private Bank at J.P. Morgan, and so I was running a big national business with uh, lots of uh, people and complexity, and I think that's what uh, made me a good fit for the Forum. What was attractive to me about the Women's Forum was I realized that my professional network and my personal network were sort of one and the same. I knew a lot of people in asset management and a lot of women in asset management. I actually didn't know a lot of other accomplished women, and so I joined the Women's Forum because I wanted to meet them, uh, and it's been great. So I've actually, in some ways, had three careers in one career. Uh, I grew up in Washington, D.C. My father was a lawyer. When I looked around for career possibilities, I didn't even see financial services as a possibility. I saw law, I saw public service, I saw journalism, so I went off to law school, became a lawyer. Um, but in my practice as a lawyer, I had the chance to work with asset management firms. Some years along, I had the, uh, re had the good fortune of getting a call to go work for one, uh, J.P. Morgan, which uh, 20 years ago was actually a relatively small firm. And I joined uh, because it was the chance to build something. They wanted to grow their asset management division. They wanted to grow their private bank. Um, and I signed up uh, to build a business with the backing of a great company. So that's how I got into uh, asset management. And my third career, really, which is still in asset management, is being the CEO of a standalone asset management firm, Common Fund. I've learned a lot about leadership over the years um, by, by watching wonderful leaders, by working with them, and, and having to try to become one myself. And um, I suppose some of the things I've learned is that uh, leaders tend to be optimists. Uh, people don't generally want to follow a pessimist. Leaders tend to be optimists, but they have to be realists as well because uh, people are smart and they want to know that um, you're being honest in your, um, and realistic in your outlook. Um, leaders tend to be generous. They like to see other people succeed. And today, I think leaders have to be incredibly adaptable. No matter what industry we are in, we are working in an environment where change just seems to be happening faster than ever. What the Women's Forum does for me is um, inspiration and friendship. I am inspired by the women that I have met. Um, they have become friends. I would say the Women's Forum is something you should do for yourself. So many times as women, we're doing things for other people, the people that we work for, the people that we work with, the people that we go home to, the people who rely on us. And the Women's Forum is something that you should do for yourself. Give yourself the chance, the to, to be with this group of other accomplished and generous women. And you will find that when you do something for yourself, you're actually going to get a lot out of it. Uh, that's what I found. Mm -hmm.